Hi, welcome to Zainat Sneak PG 2022 Information Series. Through a series of videos, we have been trying to explain the differences between terms used in uh, NEET PG counselings uh, and the different quotas that exist in counselings, etc. If you have not seen that, those videos, we would suggest you look at uh, some of the earlier videos, especially the ones on eligibility after uh, joining or uh, being allotted a seat in each round. Uh, those are crucial decisions that you need to take, especially during the All India Round 1, Round 2 and uh, State Round 1, Round 2. Just have a look at those videos. In this video, we'd be looking at uh, the differences between postgraduate diplomas and MBMS diplomas in terms of who offers it, which authority offers them, what are the number of seats that are approximately available, uh, which institutes offer these courses, and uh, what, are, what are the options of registration and practice course, these uh, completion of these diplomas, and what are the options to do higher specialty, basically PG degree, which exams you need to attend, et cetera, post, this, uh, post the completion of these diplomas. So uh, we look at postgraduate diplomas uh, first. Uh, the postgraduate diplomas have been in existence for a long time now. We know them as DCH, DGO, DLO, et cetera, the regular terms that are used for diplomas. These are two-year courses, which are offered by NMC in medical colleges. So these come under the authority of NMC directly under the regulation, PG med regulation, uh, regulations. And these are in medical colleges or in some teaching institutes, rarely in a teaching institute, postgraduate teaching institute. There are no more new additions. MCC, uh, MCA itself, when it was there, had stopped adding on PG diploma seats or recognizing PG diploma seats. Most of the PG diploma seats have been converted to MDMS. You would have approximately only around 500 seats most of them in government institutes now. NBEMS diplomas, on the other hand, have been accredited by NBE only post 2021. The first batch started in 2021-22. These are under the authority of NBE. NBE is the one which conducts, uh, National Board of Examinations is the one which conducts your NEET-PG exam and also uh, is the authority for uh, running the DNB courses. They have these diplomas offered under private institutes, private hospitals or government hospitals, and in a few medical colleges as well. For instance, some medical colleges of uh, Uttar Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, etc., offer postgraduate uh, NBMS diplomas. Some a lot of private hospitals offer NBMS diplomas, and a lot of government hospitals, civil hospitals, uh, uh, general hospitals, or uh, suburban hospitals. What uh, you, you you name know them by multiple names. These government hospitals, uh, district hospitals, basically also offer NBMS diplomas. One major difference is that PG diplomas are offered in a lot more specialties. Uh, NBMS diplomas are offered only in these specialties, radio diagnosis, child health, uh, DGO, uh, tuberculosis and respiratory diseases, and uh, DA, DO, and diploma in family medicine, and DLO. Now, uh, what is the recognition status? Postgraduate diplomas coming under the authority of NMC are recognized. Most of the postgraduate diplomas would be recognized by now, because since last four years, no diploma has been uh, recognized, uh, permitted. Most of the diplomas should be recognized. If a diploma is still not recognized or permitted, there is a cause for concern. Look at that institute and the diploma and then take a decision. As far as NBMS diplomas are concerned, they are accredited right before that course is allotted, basically before it comes into counseling. First, NB accredits goes to the hospital, accredits the hospital for those courses. And only then those courses, uh, those seats are added under the counseling. So accreditation happens first. But even though they are accredited by NBE, a medical qualification should be added to the first schedule of NMC for being recognized. So this has already happened uh, before uh, uh, at the time these courses were floated. So all NBMS diplomas are recognized medical qualifications under the first schedule of NMC. Uh, we said they are recognized. Uh, what does this mean? That this means that you will be able to register NBMS diplomas similar to postgraduate diplomas in your state medical council or any medical council since they have been recognized under the first schedule of NMC and practice. You'll be able to practice as well. That's speciality. The number of seats available, PG diplomas, as of now, only around 500 seats are available, most in government. NBMS diplomas, when you go to the accreditation portal and select NB uh, diplomas, uh, NB accreditation portal would give you a number of 2,400. Last year too, this was around 2,100-200, but only 1,200 seats were surrendered. 725 in government and 475 in private medical college, private uh, hospitals. Now, why is it so? Uh, uh, an institute may be accredited for five D NBMS diplomas, let's say in DCH, but the institute always has the liberty to surrender less than five for a particular session. So for this academic session, they may be surrendering 
three diplomas only, even though they have five. This happens every year with DNP as well. So don't expect the exact number of seats as in the NBA portal to be available for you in terms of uh, seats for All India Counseling. Uh, you, this, this will be a lot lesser than the actual seats surrender will be a lot lesser. The course period is two years in both cases. Uh, the specialities, uh, like we said, all diploma specialities are, are available, uh, except for possibly general surgery, general medicine. Uh, every other specialty has a diploma in most of the cases. And NBEMS diplomas, uh, there are only eight of eight specialties under which NBMS diplomas are offered. Exams, postgraduate diplomas, exams are by the same university. Like you will be studying it in a medical college and therefore whichever institute you are undergoing uh, the course from uh, is affiliated to a university and the university conducts your exams. NBMS diplomas, uh, for NBMS diplomas, the exams are conducted by NB like it happens for NB. Are you eligible for post-graduation? Uh, yes, two options exist. One through DNB PD set, you can write DNB post diploma common entrance test. Now, this post diploma common entrance test is for taking a DNB course. This is a separate exam other than NEET PG. You write after you complete your postgraduate diploma, you write this DNB PD set. And there are separate seats offered for those who have complete, completed post PG diplomas. Now, this set of seats you can avail by writing the DNB PD set exam. The competition is a little lesser than NEET PG. In fact, uh, uh, it is not a little, it is uh, very much less compared to NEET PG uh, and you will be able to take a DNB course. The DNB course you pursue after writing DNB PD set is only for two years. So you would have completed two years diploma and then you write DNB PD set, do another two years and get your DNB degree, which is equivalent to MDMS. NBMS diplomas, exactly the same. Exactly like postgraduate diplomas, you will also be eligible for DNB PDC and you can opt for secondary DNB seats, do the course for two years and get a DNB degree. Eligibility for MDMS, yes, if an M everybody is eligible for MDMS, including somebody who has got a postgraduate diploma, if the MDMS is in the same specialty, then the course period is two years. Take it as course period is two years here, there's some mistake. The course period is two years. Same should be also possible for NBMS diplomas. After an NBMS diploma, they should be able to pursue MDMS in the same speciality and it should be for two years. But till now, there is no rule regarding this unless someone takes this up and a batch passes out, which will only happen next year in 2023 and somebody applies for MDMS and then the question comes out on uh, whether it is two years or uh, three years, if it is the same specialty, we would not have any actual uh, example to uh, assure anyone. So as of now, it should be the same, but no assurance on that. Whatever it is, you will be anyways able to be able to do DNB PD set. There is no confusion in that. You can get a DNB, secondary DNB degree. Here, the only confusion is whether it is two years or three years, it should be two years. Right? Fee, as far as PG diplomas fee is concerned, it is almost like your MDMS. It depends on the institute, whether it is government institute or private institute or deemed. Uh, there are around 10 seats or so in deemed institutes, 10 diploma seats and still in deemed in those institutes. So the, the fee structure depends on the institute. NBMS diplomas, the fee structure is standard. It is 1.475 lakhs per annum, whether it is a government institute, whether it is a private institute. The fee structure is standard at 1.475 lakhs per annum. Same as DNB courses, you will be paying for two years. Uh, you will be paying 1.475 lakhs per year for two years. Stipend, the stipend varies across institute. It may be, a, if it is a government institute, government guidelines are followed. If it is a private institute, uh, private institute's guidelines are followed for stipend as far as PG diplomas are concerned. But in, the NBM, in NBMS diplomas also, it varies as per institute. But the only thing is, this stipend will be equal to or greater than the government offered stipend. The basic stipend offered by the government has to be offered by the institute. So you will get an equivalence in stipend in NBMS diplomas as well. The last, uh, another most important point, point is on the bond. The PG diplomas, the bond depends on the institute. The government bond is usually followed for, government bond for MDMS is usually followed for PG diploma in government institutes. In private institutes also, it is similar. Rarely there will be some institute which will differentiate between a bond or uh, diplomas and MDMS, some may, very rarely. The numbers are very less, so you can just directly check with the institute on this. NBMS diplomas, 
Like DNB, there is no bond in private institutes. You take up an NBMS diploma in the private in a private institute. At the end of two years, you will be relieved. There will be no bond. There will be no additional cost asked uh, as far as fee is concerned, and there will be no penalty, etc. Or in case you uh, don't serve for a longer period, etc. All two years is the course period. But government institutes may have a bond. Some government institutes uh, of have a bond for DNB in their state. Uh, Uh, hospitals, state government hospitals. Similarly, a state government hospital may have a bond. For instance, in Tamil Nadu, there is a bond if you do an NBEMS diploma in a state government hospital. Same with Karnataka as well. If you do an NBEMS diploma in Karnataka, there is a bond of one year twenty lakhs. So look at the bond in the government institute if you are doing an NBEMS diploma. The same, it it would be similar to whatever you uh, whatever bonds that exist in PG diplomas or NBEMS. In some states, even that bond is different. MDMS and NBMS diploma have a different bond. And what are the terms that are used? Uh, this is only for reference in terms of choice filling. Diploma in child health or diploma in uh, gynecology and obstetrics is what would be used as far as PG diplomas is concerned. Uh, as far as NBMS diploma is concerned, it would be NBMS hyphen diploma in child health. This is what would be mentioned. It would be mentioned NBMS diploma. Hyphen DCH. So this NBEMS would tell you that it is a diploma in, under NBE in a private institute or a government hospital for two years, and it, these are the uh, relevant uh, parameters for those diplomas. So this is a major difference as far as practice was concerned, or as far as further registration, further eligibility for super specialty. There is no difference. They are recognized under first schedule of NMC, and so as long as the institute is good. You are aware of the institute, maybe a government institute with high close case load, etc., and you have a favorable bond in that institute, or you are okay with serving the bond. You can as well go with NBMS diplomas if, and you have an option of doing a post graduation post that a, through a secondary DNP or an MDMS, MDS, MS as well after this diploma, and you can practice anyways. So, uh, hope this video was helpful for you to understand what NBMS diplomas are. Uh, We'll also finally end up by telling you some of the institutes where NBMS diplomas are available, like in uh, government medical colleges in Uttar Pradesh, uh, the autonomous state medical colleges. Uh, there are uh, civil hospitals in Rajasthan, civil uh, government hospitals in uh, in the state of government medical colleges in the state of Jammu and Kashmir, civil hospitals in district hospitals in uh, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal. A lot of hospitals have it. In addition to the whole set of private hospitals which have come up with NBMS diplomas this year, there are a whole set of good hospitals too which have come up with NBMS diplomas starting last year. So have a look at those institutes, look at the stipend, bond, and other factors that you are looking at, case load, etc., and then take a call on joining NBMS diplomas. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Uh, in case you like these videos, please subscribe to the uh, channel and also share it with your friends. Hope the information shared by Zainad is useful. We have shared a lot of information on Zainad, basically accurate information which you have corrected. MCC's uh, information we have corrected through GOs, prospectors, etc. So a lot of information has been shared on Zainad, which will help you throughout the process. We'll also be updating the trends of round uh, ones of 2022, in addition to whatever round 2021 data is available as and when we move forward. By just logging into Zainad, you will have most of the information that is necessary that is available in public for taking decisions at one place. This is a one-stop portal for complete counseling management. Check our portal. There is a video uh, as you click. You will be able to see a video as you click the subscription link. Check the video on what are the features available, and then take a call on whether it will be useful and register for the plans. Thank you so much for watching. Keep watching. Please leave your comments.